right, welcome back. This is my favorite segment of the day, Food Rush. Welcome, everybody. Whether you prefer your pretzels twisted or straight, dipped in cheese or covered in cinnamon, sugar, chewy, soft, and hard and crispy, today is a day for all pretzel lovers. Because it is National Pretzel Day. Get a look at those. Yes. And we're celebrating. We've got a variety of pretzels here, including some of our favorites. We've got the hard kind, soft kind. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble just sugar. reading this right now, you know, <laughs> going forward. Joining us today is a man who knows all about pretzels, Kurt Van Gilder, the general manager of Julia Sturgis Pretzel Bakery in Pennsylvania. Kurt, thank you so much for your time. Your bakery founded in 1861, the first commercial pretzel bakery in the country. So congrats on uh, this long lasting <laughs> tenure. How did you make yes. it 161 years in the pretzel business? Well, it was begun and is still run by the what we call the first pretzel family of America, the Sturgis family. Love that. And that big smile on your face. I can tell you love pretzels. So what is your favorite kind? We have a variety here. Oh, he oh, has one on hand, prepared. ladies and gentlemen. Or do you dip in mustard? I do not. I'm a purist. Oh, okay, okay. There, well, are we... definitely two, there are definitely two camps, those that love the mustard and those that will not even touch it with the pretzel. Okay, well, how about this? Salt or no salt? Oh, that's the, that's the question. Oh, absolutely. With salt, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> we are good to go. We are good to continue this interview. Okay, all right. <laughs> So when people come to your shop, what are they looking for? What's the big item? Uh, we're famous for our soft pretzels. Um, Julia Sturgis began in 1861 as a the first commercial hard pretzel bakery in, in the country. Um, we are kind of the still historic site where we do not produce the hard pretzels here anymore. Those are produ produced in a town called Shillington, just south of Reading. It's about 20 miles away from us. Um, and so when they come in, they are looking for that soft pretzel, one like I hung up or I held up in a few moments ago. Uh, they also are able to take a 25 minute historic tour where they get a twisting exercise. So they learn the historical and religious significance of why a pretzel is shaped the way it is. Why is that? Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a cliffhanger. Uh, it was begun in, are you ready for this? Yeah. 610 AD, our common era. There's our, tr our tour people going through it. Um, begun in 610 AD by monks at the present day border of Southern France and Northern Italy. Wow. And they were the educators back then. They were giving out what they called a pretiola which was in Latin meaning a small reward. And it was originally a sweet reward covered in honey or uh, dried fruit. And it was given as a reward for them to learn their Bible verses, Psalms and prayers. Interesting. And so all three, like the three holes, like I am holding up here, represented the Christian Trinity. Wow. The Father, Son, and Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. And if you notice, I'm holding it up like this with the one single hole up on top. Most Americans think it's supposed to be like this. Oh, no. What? The single hole represents. Wrong? Yes, you have <laughs> all these years. You'll never look at a pretzel the same way. Uh, the single hole is should be on top because it represents the Holy Father. Wow. Interesting. I had no idea the longevity of pretzels. That's so fascinating. I want to get uh, one more comment on uh, the inflation right now is hitting like restaurants. It's yeah. gas stations everybody. just about everywhere and everybody. Is it affecting the pretzel business? Well, supply chain issues are yeah. still an, a problem, but our prices have remained the same, very low. They're even lower than retail. We have a small retail store that people can come in and buy their pretzels. Um, any shape, size, variety, and flavor. Um, and we're really quite popular in our little town of, of Linnets. It's about a 9,500 uh, people or person uh, borough just south of Reading and just north of Lancaster City. So how do you separate your pretzel offerings uh, from say a corporation like an Auntie Anne's pretzels? Yeah. Well, we don't talk that name anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's like saying Voldemort we or something. We do not say that name. <laughs> no, we, are, we take pride in that we are a family-owned business, yeah. still owned by the fourth and fifth generation. Tom Sturgis um, is in his late 80s. He still comes into the office, uh, into the factory every day for a couple of hours. His son, Bruce, is the primary uh runner of the business now. Um, and so they take a family pride and we are only directly distributed about 150 miles around Reading. So we go into most of central and eastern PA, uh, western Jersey, southern New York, northern Maryland, etc. But our pretzels are distributed in specialty markets throughout the lower 48. So what would you say is the hardest part about making a pretzel? Because watching the video on the tour guide, 
I don't think I would be as skilled as they were. I had come out just like a lump of dough. So what's the hardest part? Just learning the steps. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the biggest thing is that and everything has a religious connotation, like the knot in the middle mm -hmm. represented uh, the children's parents' marital vows or tying the knot, hmm. which what? is where that phrase came from. Yes, ma'am. Again, you'll never look at a pretzel the same way again. So I should have had pretzels at my wedding is what you're saying. And maybe like a fondue yes. fountain, <laughs> like some yeah, sort. And actually, the, pre the pretzel is uh, representing a good luck charm at a wedding. All right. I'm learning so much this it's morning. Showing the this union. It's showing the union of two people. I love that. Man. All right. Kurt Van Gilder, the general manager of Julia Sturgis Pretzel Bakery. We appreciate your time today. Have a good one. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>